Today, we're diving into Google Analytics WordPress issues and how you can fix five common problems. So let's get started. We know that some of the terms that Google Analytics uses can be a little confusing, especially those who are new to website analytics, but understanding those key metrics is crucial to your success. They unlock the secrets of who's visiting your website, how they're engaging, and what content is resonating the most. So let's break down these terms and make the website data crystal clear. Now we're gonna start with unique visitors. Users in Google Analytics is actually unique visitors. Unique visitors are just exactly what they sound like, unique individual users who visit your website over a period of time. Google defines unique visitors as the total number of unique users who logged into an event. Next is total users. Now that metric has gone out the window with the advent of a GA4. It's been replaced by active users. Now here's the deal. An active user is someone who has been actively engaged with your site. They've either spent at least 10 seconds on a page, viewed multiple pages, or had a conversion event. So when we talk about engaged sessions, it means that the user has shown some real interest in your site. Next is sessions. Now in analytics, a session starts when a user either opens your app in the foreground or views a page or a screen and no session is currently active. For an example, their previous session is timed out. Now, by default, a session ends or times out after 30 minutes of inactivity, and there's no limit as to how long a session can last. And then there's page views. Now, page views are counted whenever someone loads a page of your website or their browser history status changed by an active site. Now, an enhanced measurement event called page view is sent from your website to Google Analytics. Now, I know some of you might be scratching your heads over this second issue. Now, we know that seeing different numbers from Monster Insights and other tools can be confusing, and it's going to make it hard to trust any of the data, and it's going to make it hard to make decisions. So you might be wondering why the stats that you're seeing from places like SiteGround or non-Google Analytics sources, website counters, or other platforms aren't what you're seeing in your Monster Insights reports. Okay, so here's the deal. Discrepancies between different trackers can be due to a bunch of different factors. Different analytics tools are going to track user interactions slightly different. Monster Insights uses Google Analytics, and it counts anyone who interacts with your site at all. So it's natural if you're going to see different stats if you're using different tracking methods. Now, let's dive into a little bit. Here's some other reasons for discrepancies that you're seeing. It might be due to multiple trackers. You know, people often forget that they need to remove other tracking codes and plugins when they install Monster Insights. Having more than one active tracker is going to lead to inaccurate data and it's going to skew your tracking. Next is bot traffic. Monster Insights uses Google Analytics and it filters out bots and it minimizes duplicate user counting to ensure that you're getting accurate analytics data. And then there's tracking different metrics. Monster Insights reports sessions, groups of user interactions, while other services may just report individual page views or hits. So that can lead to discrepancies in counting user visits. Then there's tracking logged in users. Monster Insights doesn't take logged in users into account automatically. Now that means that the data that it shows might not be accurate if a lot of people are logged in. And then there's time zone settings. Since there may be different time zones between the different services that you're using, Data collection might sometimes look a little weird and be inconsistent at times. There's analytic filter settings too. Google Analytics filters might be excluding data from reports, which can lead to lower numbers compared to other services that aren't using those filters. So to have an accurate comparison, you'll need to compare the same metrics and configurations in both of the services. Seeing conversion data discrepancies between Google Analytics and Google Ads is a problem that can lead to wasted ad spend, missed opportunities, difficulty optimizing your ads, and a lot of frustration and confusion. All right, so let's clear the air. Google Analytics tracks all actions, purchases, signups, and things like that on your website. Now, this includes those from your ad campaigns, too, to give you a complete picture of how your website's performing. Now, Google Ads and other ad platforms like Meta or Bing track user behavior specifically related to your ads. So they track things like clicks, impressions, and how users are interacting with your ad. However, the limitation in tracking APIs won't let them automatically send all that data back to their own platforms. This means that they might not show all the conversions happening on your website, and neither Monster Insights or any other plugin for that matter can push your e-commerce conversion data 
directly from analytics to Google Ads. So while it can help you to analyze ad traffic and conversions within analytics, it can't bypass the limitations on the API. Now keep in mind that analytics shows a more complete picture of conversions across your website, including those from your ads. And Google Ads may miss some details unless you have specifically defined those actions as conversions when you created your ad campaigns. Now the good news is you can still see all of your ad data and conversion rates within analytics. Now this means that you can track how your ads are performing and you can manually import conversion data from analytics to Google Ads for a unified view, but that's a bit more advanced. I've left a link in the description if you're interested in learning how to do that. By understanding how cookie plugins can impact your tracking, well, you can configure them properly or you can find alternative solutions to ensure that you're getting accurate data from Google Analytics and Monster Insights. Now, this is going to allow you to make more informed decisions based on reliable website traffic information. So if you're seeing a difference in page views in the real-time report in Google Analytics, it could be because that you've recently installed a cookie plugin. Now, these plugins can stop tracking until a visitor agrees to cookies. Now, if people don't accept the cookies, well, you're probably going to see fewer page views being recorded. And if you've set up tags for Google Ads, you want to make sure that you've set those things up correctly and that they aren't messing with your Google Analytics tracking. Now, to fix that, you can turn off the cookie plugin for a while and see if the real-time report and page view counts go back to normal. And you can also check your Google Ads tags for any setup issues that could be affecting your tracking as well. You'll also want to make sure that your tracking code is working right and that there are no filters that might be stopping data from being collected. We've also heard from others who've had problems with Google processing delays. Now, sometimes it can take 24 to 48 hours for data to show up in the report. Now, we're hoping that Google's going to fix that pretty soon so things can go a little bit faster. So what that means is if you look at today's report, it might be blank because the data is still being processed. So if there's no data for today in your Google Analytics property, well, naturally, it's not going to show up in your Monster Insights reports either. But the good news is that processing delays don't affect the real-time report, so you can check that out if you want to see what's happening on your website in real time. Now, you can check that out by logging out of your WordPress site and then visiting your site, and then after you do, log back into your site and go to Insights and then Reports and then to the real-time report and see if your visit has been recorded and shows up there. If you ever see a 403 error message about an invalid key or token in Monster Insights, don't worry, it's a common problem. Now, this error can pop up because the connection between Monster Insights and your Google Analytics account gets disrupted. It can happen for a few reasons, like your Google password changing, or if you try to copy Monster Insights settings between sites. It's an easy fix. Just completely disconnect Monster Insights from your Google Analytics account, then reconnect Monster Insights using the Monster Insights setting panel. Now, if you're not sure how to reconnect Monster Insights to Google Analytics, here's how you do it. First, log into your WordPress site, and then go to Insights, and then go to Settings. Now, click Disconnect Monster Insights. You may need to press Force Disconnect if it doesn't disconnect the first time. Then, just click on Connect Monster Insights and follow the steps. It should refresh your connection and get the data flowing again. All right, what if you're getting a 403 error on your Search Console page? Well, there are three common reasons that might be happening. First, your URLs might be mismatched. So make sure that your URLs in both Google Analytics and Search Console are exactly the same. That includes the HTTP versus the HTTPS and the www versus the non www. Now, it could be that your domain prefix might be missing. So in Search Console, you'll need to set up your property as a domain prefix. I'll leave links in the description on how you can do that. Or it could be that your accounts haven't been linked. So you'll want to double check that your Search Console account is linked to your Google Analytics property. Now you can find that setting by going to Admin, and then to Property, and then to Product Links, and finally to Search Console. Now, once you fix those issues, your search traffic should start flowing into analytics in no time. All right, that's a wrap. Now, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe for more tips on winning with analytics in WordPress. I'll catch you next time.